Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Horrible news come from Gaza, and uh, it seems like there's going to be a big humanitarian crisis, not to call it, uh, I don't know, a tragedy. Um, I understand the fight between the military or the, the guys with guns fighting one another, but destroying civilians um, i don't think that's a uh, good um, way to go what's going on here we have gaza health ministry saying that 10 hospitals halt operation due to the shelling fuel shortages now i would like to know the ones that uh, really you know think in a certain way under what uh, scenario this would be acceptable? I mean, if this is acceptable, which I think it's not acceptable, obvious, obviously. If this is acceptable in that direction, that means you would be okay with that being acceptable if it's done unto you. Otherwise, that you're not a just person. And obviously, is unacceptable on both sides. It's wrong. Now, it says that it halted operation. What does that mean? due to shelling you say well gaza health ministry well i know people lie and uh, all people lie more or less so uh could it be a lie i have seen pictures and uh, i've seen statements coming from the israeli defense minister remember saying that they turn off the water they turn off the electricity, the fuel, this and that. Well, it seems like little by little they allow certain things to get, to uh, trickle or you know, in, but not much. So that's one article. Let me show you another article. That article comes again from Sputnik. Hamas says all hospitals in Gaza Strip run out of fuel. So both of them are from Sputnik. Uh, so that's the one. And this is the other one, right? Now, you can choose to ignore this and say, I'm not going to look into it because that's a lie. Or you could choose to look into it because it's concerning. Or you can say, not only that's a lie, some people might say, well, you know, uh, that's kind of revenge. But remember, these are people in a hospital. Now, are there Hamas fighters? Are there civilians? I don't know, but... As far as I remember, you can't really do this to a hospital, can you? And uh, you would ask, or maybe if you don't, I do. How come these hospitals depend on Israel's fuel? Why is that? <laughs> so when they tell me that uh, Palestinians in Gaza, you know, they have freedom of this, freedom of that. You saw how much freedom they had when Israel decided to turn off <coughs> things that are vital for human existence. So let's read the second article I mentioned, which is this one right here. Hamas says all hospitals in Gaza Strip ran out of fuel three hours ago, today on the 23rd of October 2023. All hospitals in G Gaza Strip have run out of fuel, the enclave's Hamas movement said on Monday. All hospitals in the Gaza Strip have run out of fuel, Hamas said in a statement, adding that the aid that has arrived in the enclave in the past two days is not enough to meet the needs of the population. And this is the other one right here, that, uh, that's 14 hours ago, so that means that's from yesterday, the 22nd. After Hamas' surprise attack, Israel introduced complete, complete humanitarian blockade of the Gaza Strip. Dr. Mohamed Salima, director of Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza, told Sputnik that his facility would become mass grave should it run out of fuel. Well, should it? But didn't you say here that uh, all run out of fuel, foot fuel, and that is uh, right. So, my friends, I don't care who you are rooting for and uh, who what kind of uh, nation do you belong to remember if you if you want to say that you are fair then you would obviously condemn this situation and say no no that's kind of unacceptable 
Now, if you don't pretend that you're fair or just, I understand. Uh, oh, you're here now. I understand the position, uh, and then you have to live with being unjust and unfair. Because if you think, no, 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 stop, baby doll, don't go there, boy. <laughs> so if you think that that's acceptable, then no, don't go over there. You want to go across right here. This is the mouse that you want. So if you think that's acceptable in one direction, then it should be acceptable in the other direction. And as I said, that's unacceptable in either direction, in any direction. So what are you going to do about it? At least, at least memorize it, keep it in mind. And when some people in the future will mention the righteousness of someone or something, or you know exactly what I mean, then you can... Uh, Say, hey, wait a minute, I remember when the entire enclave, 2 million, 2.3 million Palestinians had no water, electricity, food, fuel, and their hospital were bombarded by accident or by their own people. Uh, you just have to go, people, children were killed. And if you don't believe me, just, just, just go and uh, just Google it. You're going to see a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. And... Uh, However you want to twist it, it was all Hamas or it was some Hamas. Those are innocent people, um, however you want to turn it. Remember these things. History over there did not start on the 7th of October. As horrible the day, that day was for the Israelis, and uh, it was, uh, the history did not start then. The history started many decades back. So I think everything needs to be stopped and start it over with everything like a bad project that you try to i don't think they try to fix anything to be honest with you i think they just wanted to make it like this until those guys somehow i don't know something would do for instance maybe in your house you know that something that is not working properly but you don't want to fix it but you don't you don't want to deal with it you know it's there at least uh, you know it's there and you know you're gonna fix it but you're not gonna fix it you just let it be as it is. So I think that's what's going on in Gaza. These guys don't fix anything, the two-state solution. And that's that's just the garbage for us. I think it's clear there's uh, in, in, in the current, in the current, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, situation, there's, and it, it hasn't been for the decades, as I said. It's like a bad project. You go and you try to fix, you add, 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 and you realize, man, it doesn't have the foundation. It's not going to support the rest. I'm trying to build everything on. So you need to scrape that, throw in the garbage, the whole thing, and start again from the solid ground and build little by little, little by little. Uh, but you have to be honest about it. You have to be sincere that you really want to achieve the goal that you set, which I think is, you know, this country here, that country over there. And you have to uh, uh, be uh, objective like a referee, which you know how they are. So if you have United States of America intervening over there and you and not only that USA, another three, four, five countries, uh, then that's not going to happen. There's no desire. If there's no desire, obviously the outcome that they profess, uh, the, the goals, then that's not going to be even, they're not going to be even sought for. They just tell us that it's a pro peace process. I've been living with this peace process for decades already. Since I, since I heard the first time when I was a child, a little boy, about the Palestinian-Israeli uh, peace process and that, and that since uh, I was a child. So that's decades, my friends. And that happened before that, before I was born. And nothing happened. That's because they tried to... But unfortunately, that's... Uh, a lot of people, innocent people, who die, have a shitty life, and children are hurt, and so on. Now, I'm not trying to make it here too, uh, you know, sensitive, or you know, but uh, really, if you look at it, it's a disaster. We we don't see it, but uh, imagine that is your town, and what, how would you react? And the guy across the town tells you to evacuate it now. Or they give you, send you a text message that they were going to hit your building in about uh, 30 minutes. And after five minutes, they hit it. Even if they give you 30 minutes, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? 
it's your house your apartment your whatever well if you don't get personal to it and you look from far away that's why these guys these guys look ah oh, it's a missile that was launched it's different than going over there and use a knife going over there and going face to face with a victim is different than obviously pushing a button and having that it's so in impersonal so you have to go and uh you know expose people to reality not to uh, okay some but that's the way we are my friends all of us sometimes we don't want to uh, face reality and we live in denial and sometimes you know we can't do anything or the little that we can uh, we ignore because we are too selfish in, with our lives and we have our own problems i mean things might look uh, fantastic and all that they might comp uh, you know in comparison with others but you still have problems you still have to work you still have to pay this you have to go over there you have to you know you have your own illnesses whatever you have well, hospitals i mean under what under what scenario would that be acceptable under any no scenario my friends no scenario just i don't think i have to go there but i will just go for a second imagine this is the russians doing to the ukrainians and how would that be reported you know genocide and all the right terms would be used for russia thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just